Wanting young people to be able to analyze, synthesize and evaluate information sounds like a reasonable goal. But analysis, synthesis and evaluation means different things in different disciplines. A few other techniques to encourage critical thinking are using analogies, promoting interaction among students, asking open-minded questions, allowing reflection time, and development of self-esteem plays a significant role in students' engagement and this happens right from early education days. The deepest layer of critical thinking comes from having students take a step back to think about the big picture. This level of thinking is no longer focused on the text itself but rather it's the real world implications. Words into actions, classroom debates, elocution and artistic features. It is very important for adults to understand and introduce students to the concept of brain plasticity and how their brilliant brains change during thinking and learning. Analyzing a topic from occupational point of view is incredibly powerful critical thinking tool. Thank you so much for tuning in to day 265. I really hope to see you for tomorrow's video.